Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Greg Block. Thank you for tuning back in again with me. Um, I have done quite a lot. Oh, you can already see behind me the 16 C's that are there now. Oh, um, because it makes things so much easier. Um, this is what we'll be working on next. And I'm not talking about the rotating tables, which I actually are quite cool, but no. Uh, the recipes over there. Um, other things I did. I expanded my farms here. Got some carrots. Got some melon and pumpkin. I have some um, sugar canes. And I planted dark oak and a jungle tree. Dark oak because I really like the dark wood for building. And I know I'm going to be building more in the future. Um, I filled this up with dirt and made it into grass. And... Animals seem to like to spawn here. I actually got another cow just on this area, and apparently I got more sheep. Uh, quite loud sheep as well. So I now have what? Two, three, four? Four sheep, three pigs, one one chicken, and one cow still. But, huh. um, I also got some cacao seeds, and I'll explain to you how I got them in a minute. And as I said in between episodes, I made a squid farm. Which is doing quite well actually. Um so if you look at my oh sorry my Z position this is Z C fifty six and they'll be spawning there and then we drop down. Don't press Z if you want to look at Z. That doesn't work. And then they'll they'll just drop down here. And then they find that they can't really swim, and they're gonna give me insects. I'm not sure what we're gonna use them for, but the quest book wants us to get insects, so here we go. Um, I also made a smaller platform here, so I could get underneath my garden, so that I could support the water and the sand for the sugar canes. Um, so. I also added another chest for all the seeds and stuff, and so I've got over 64 wheat, I've got 20 sugar canes already, some melon, carrots, uh, mushrooms, etc, etc. This is my automated dirt. Well, when I get leaves, I put them in the hopper. Hopper turns them into dirt, puts them in the other hopper and puts them in a the chest. And you can see we already have over two stacks, even though I use quite a bit to fill up this area and the farms. Ah, oh, that's doing pretty well. We also have like about nine stacks of dark oak. <laughs> that's going really, really fast because, you know, they're pretty big trees. And you know, about three and a half stacks of regular oak. And we got some new ore chunks. So, um, I was looking at the quest. And the quest wants me to make the cobblestone generator. As you know, you may remember mentioning that last episode. Now, he wants a pickaxe, and he wants some kind of wrench, and two buckets. Now, if you click on the pickaxe, you basically get all the pickaxe recipes. 18 pages of pickaxe recipes. But, it's not working. It's not giving me the recipe. So, I checked in the Discord for this uh, pack, and it tells me, no, 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 it has to be an iron pickaxe. Now, Okay, so I'm going to make two iron pickaxe hats, which is iron plates and iron ingots with the hammer and the iron file. And I think then it's just a matter of oops, adding sticks with the hats to get two pickaxes. Now, let's see if that works where the flint doesn't. And yes, it does work. Cool. Now, I'm not entirely sure how this works. Um, what I was reading is that it... Let's see, can we... Let's, let's do that this one. It says it will just output to... I don't know, inf it said output to an inventory. Um, let's see if it does. Can I... I can, at least I can pick it up, which is quite good. Nope, still only seeing 18 covers on. So I'm not yet quite sure how we're going to use it. Um, We'll look into that in a minute. I haven't gotten any wither skeleton skulls, by the way. 
And while I was in Discord, yes, I know you want the weeds go away. Um, I also asked about that. Now, the, the chances of them dropping is quite small without looting. Um, but Pixel also told me that there's really no need yet to get them. You know, um, my main reason was I want to finish this chapter H0 before you move into H1. Uh, but I've also been told in Discord that new chat new quests will open in previous ages when you get to the other ages so you can't really finish age by age okay so we'll leave this for now and we'll start focusing on the rest so a few things i want to do i want drawers um, i don't like my chest i don't i really want drawers so um do you do at storage we do have drawers and you know you can make them uh, sorry, uh, these are trims. You can't make it regular drawers. They've been disabled. Um, however, we can make framed drawers. And the quest book actually asks us to make framed drawers right here. So, a framing table and one framed drawers. Okay, so let's have a look at the framing table, which is five trim and the wrench, I think. Uh, oh, the saw, sorry. Okay. So, five trim. And then, any kind of frame drawer. Oh, just uh, the, the, the largest one. Which is this one. Which is going to be just sticks and a chest. Okay, so. Um, let's see if we can make it. I don't think it matters which kind of wood you use for this. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, I do want to use my saw uh, uh, for as long as it's lasting. Let's do eight because now I can get 32 planks. I need five trims, so I need to make eight. So I need to make um, eight times four is 32 sticks, plus six is 38 sticks. Oh, ah, stupid. I usually use my saw there as well because I would have gotten four sticks out of each. Alright, so let's first make the trim. Two sets should be enough. And then we can make the framing table and that use of my saw. A frame drawer requires a chest. Yeah, the frame drawers and the drawer table is actually pretty cool. I quite like that. Um, because it allows you to do a lot more with these drawers than you would otherwise be able to do. Um, I want to move you over one. Let's put you here. So this is how the framing table works. You put in the drawer to start with, and then you can give it materials for the the sides, the front, and the drawers itself. So, for example, I can put pumpkin on the front for the drawers. And you can see that the drawers is going to look like a pumpkin. I can put pumpkin on here, and it's going to look pumpkin all over. Or just the edge. Yeah. yeah, if I do pumpkin everywhere, but then I also say I do dark oak here, I get dark oak edges around the pumpkin, which is yeah, pretty cool. Um, they have to be blocks, I'm pretty sure. Um, but so, let's see, I can use gravel, I can use dirt. Basically, you can use any type of block. So you can see it's pumpkin all over, except for the front or the other way around. It's a grass thing with a pumpkin drawer, which <laughs> I think this is really cool. Um, gravel looks pretty cool with the dark trim. Anyway. Um, yeah, I like this and I'll be using that. In fact, I'm gonna um, take this hopper and make a drawer. Now, I want to make a drawer for cobblestone. Um, and I'm gonna try what this looks like. So I want a white drawer with dark trim and because this is going to have cobblestone no I don't think I want that 
I don't think I want that. I think I really do think I just want wood, uh, oak wood planks for that. That is that is pretty cool. Um, how about this? Or how about this? Because then the back will be looking like it's completely this. I like that. I'm going to take this one out. And you can see it consumed these blocks as well as uh, the uh, drawer itself. And I'm going to put this right here for now. I'm going to put the um, hopper in to the drawer. And now I'm going to try if I can get my simple cobblestone generator to make me cobblestone. Yeah, I, th I thought this might work. I wasn't sure, but I'm pretty glad with that. And at some point you make the keys and whatnot. And oh, oh yeah, I forgot. And, uh, this pack has the um, carry-on mod, which allows you to pick up all kinds of blocks, like chests, and carry them around and put them back down. Okay, cobblestone generator done. Frame drawer done, and I'm gonna make a lot more drawers in between episodes and set my whole storage somewhere. But this is a good step forward. Uh, the reason I got this dark oak is I really like the wood. I really like the dark oak for building. It's it's much better than than the standard than the regular oak, I think. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Now, um. Going back to the chapter, um, I want to go make the bronze and make the rough iron. And I already read up a bit about that, and I knew I realized I need a lot more iron and a lot more copper. Now, sieving um, gravel on a string mesh, because that's the only one we had, we have a small chance for 5% for brown laminate, which makes iron. Yellow laminate, which makes iron. Metal iron chunks, which makes iron. And then there's the wrecked iron chunk. There's also malachite, 1% for copper. Uh, sorry, 1% eh, for copper. And that's about the only one we can get for copper right now from these chunks. But if we look further, there's also other types of drops that will give you copper. Fine clove-fried or cal cal copyright <laughs> cal copyright ore chunk. Um, I, haven't come, I didn't make up these names and I wouldn't actually be surprised if they exist in real life. Uh, fine copper ore chunk. Um, that was another one. Pretty sure Oh yeah, here's one, the fine tetrahedrite ore chunk. All of these, or some of these, most of these, are obtainable through sieving sand. Um, trying to find this one again. And if you look at this, sand with a regular mesh, and we get a 3% chance for a fine copper ore chunk, a, uh, let's see, 9% for fine iron even, not a 9% for a cal copyright, which is also then copper. Um, and that iron malachite. Malachite is also copper. So, sifting sand, you get a lot better chance for copper and iron. So now we have that copper, we have 26 iron, and we have two and a half stacks of tin. Really, we have so much tin that I've been using tin for shears and other things. Unfortunately, I couldn't use tin for a hammer, but uh, I recommend you make sure with the tin, or I make you make whatever you can with the tin. Um, no pickaxe, no hammer. Um, yeah. Anyway. The first one is raw iron. Now, this is a bit weird, but if we take one ingot, turn it into nine nuggets, and smelt said nine nuggets, we're going to get nine nuggets of wrought iron, which we can then combine in one raw iron ingot. So basically, I don't know why it's not one ingot for ingot, 
probably because they want you to use more coal. That's about it. The other one that we're gonna need uh, is bronze. Bronze, we've already made a flint mortar for another quest, if you remember. But we need three copper dust and one tin dust. So, one, two, three, copper, one tin. Find the, 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 the flint mortar. Get it. Um, I'm pretty sure that was how it's made. Copper dust. Yeah. This. Oh, so it has to be on top. Okay. Seems too picky. Then the tin. There we go. And let's see if this is shapeless. Three copper and one tin makes four bronze, which we can then melt. Now, how far is this? Almost done. Oh, it didn't pick up my tin dust. Well, that's okay because I think I'm gonna do another batch. I have a sneaky suspicion I'm gonna need more. Um, and I know you should wait three seconds before using the materials to give your book the time to recognize that you've got the materials. There you go, another four bronze dust. See, it also needs to detect it. And now we need bronze ingots, which we'll be getting from here. And that should complete the quest. Excellent. We also have nine wrought iron ingots. Press K for compress, and we have run wrought iron. Uh, sorry, we had nuggets, now we have an ingot. This one is complete. This one is complete. So now we can make a bronze chest and a bronze tank. Hmm. Bronze chest. Probably it's going to take eight bronze plates, which means 16 bronze ingots. I need six more copper and I don't have six more copper. So, okay, so let me then um, get some more copper, get some more bronze. And let's see, what about the tank? That's going to take four and glass so that's another eight so i need eh, 24 at least so that is at oh did i see a dark spot here no um what did i say 24 bronze so that is eight recipes that's eight times no six recipes so that's 18 copper that we need at least all right oh wow um don't know what happened to this tree but Wow, it exploded with saplings. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, yeah, I okay. guess. So I smashed some gravel in some, well, cobblestone into gravel, gravel into sand, and I'm already smelting. Oh, that's tin. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, I want to see. This is copper. And manakite is copper. And copper is copper. Um, there's something I'm doing is not right here. Let's see. Aluminum or iron, tin, iron, iron. This is copper, I think, right? Castorite. No, castorite is tin. Okay, okay. Cast it, cast it to right. Whatever. Ilmenite, bauxite, pyrite. Pyrite is iron. So, uh, anyway, I got malachite and I got copper. So, this is why I have 4x4 four four sieves. I got one stack of sand. One, two, three, and four. There you go. So what else do we get? Bauxite, kind of, that's the one, color copyrights. Iron, iron, do, 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 pyrite. Oh yes, this is also where I got the cocoa beans. Guess it, do, do, do. copper. Uh, which can go in here, and I think that's it. Malachite, copper, and that other one. Okay. 
And I wish it would be night so I can sleep the stupid rain away. I hope it's not uh, causing too much issues uh, when I upload this into YouTube. We'll see. Otherwise, I'll just turn off the rain next time myself. Um, so, copper. More copper. Um, so we had the eight bronze. I have a few more. Okay, and we need a new. What was it again? Oh yeah, I also looked for the stone ones, but I'm afraid the stone one is not quite an option yet. The iron one may be easier actually to make because I can make iron plates, you know, using the hammer. That's okay. The stone plates only can be made with a compressor. Oh, that's kind of weird. Um, yeah. So no one here. Um, let's see. I need the. Or I can do it with the hammer. Let's see. I didn't get understand that from the last time. No. So then maybe that really needs to be the set team hammer and not anything else. But we can make a mortar. And let's see, steel. Bronze, got iron, red steel, black steel. Um, yeah. Hmm. For now, I think we'll go with the flint. Uh, I'm gonna make two of those because I have a feeling that this is not gonna last for too long. Hmm. Is that smooth stone? That's what it's done. Okay. Um, Get some more uncompressed coal in there. Oh. How do I know when it's night? Uh, the sun seems to be going over there. And of course I can always look at the clock. Yeah, it's just about night, I think. Yay, finally. Okay. Well, I can at least make one. And so, let's see. Um, let's do 12. Yeah, see, I didn't think it would last for very long. Uh, so, one more. Oh. One more copper. And then we would need four tin to make 16 bronze. Let's get that smelted up. Um. Now my hammer is about to break, and if I look at the recipes, I think that was the easiest. And I don't want to use the iron hammer for smashing my cobblestone and my gravel, but I will use it to... Oh, well, I need to use it to make the plates. Okay, um... Up with the farm. I didn't do any potatoes um, because, really, food wise, I can eat bread, I can eat the carrots, I can eat the apples. It's all good. Um, carrots can also be used to breed pigs, which apparently we have another one off here as well. Um, actually, let's see if we can get the animals into the pen here. If you want to come with me, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Piggy. You're not supposed to be able to get up there. Uh, I need to fix that. Go. Come in. Come in here. Yes, I have the lovely carrots. I'm the person with the carrots. Mm. 
all so, so dumb sometimes. Oh, he went in. Okay. What about the pigs over here? Uh, sorry, the sheep. One, two sheep are come. Thank you. Of course, they'll be squeezing against the gate to get out. But. At least I got one. I didn't know. Come on, give me access to the fence. Oh dear, dear, dear. But at least I have some quiet over here without those animals. Alright. Where were we? We were cooking chrome because we need. 24 chrome plates, right? No, we need 12 chrome plates, so we need 24 ingots, 12 plates, then this is the bronze chest, and if I got this right, yes, the, for, by the way, if I had gotten this wrong, then I could just click rotate grid and fix it. So, um, eight buckets, that's not bad, but mm, I doubt it will also, anything will auto extract or auto insert into it. So yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to use that uh, for now. The chest, I want to try out, I want to see the inventory. Only four rows. That's like, that's just slightly better than the regular chest, so, well. Alright. At least this is done. Um, well, we might as well try and get the uh, shaping clay part done. A flint knife, we have an oak plank, half a half. S now, here's the thing. This is a slab. It's half a block. It is a full slab. It's not a half slab. There's no such thing as a half slab. Uh, one of my pet peeves. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I'm not very good with this. I I just it's just it's not a half slab. It's 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 not a half slab. It's it's a full slab. And you know. I understand that when you're placing them, you can place them on the lower half or the upper half of a block, but it's still just a slab. So saying, oh, where's my knife? Saying that this is half of a half slab. Oh, it, it needs a saw, it doesn't need a knife. Why do I need to make a knife? Okay, and the saw, I'm afraid, was lost, so... Saw... Mm, the Which one was it? This one. So we need a... Two iron plates. Uh, one, two, three, four. That makes two double iron ingots, which makes two iron plates. Then the saw blade, the file, and the hammer. Oh, I have the file. Let me actually. It's interesting that you need these uh, the, the files and the hammer to make this. I'm, I I don't mind. I'm not against it. Okay, and hopefully this should just be with a stick. Saw with slab gives me an oak plank. So. Yeah, I can't help it. Just one of the things that I can't deal with. Oak brick form. So I'm guessing this one with the knife. Because why else would we have to make it? And then... To need forms to form the correspondent types of clay into the correspondent type of unfired brick. 
which is the next part, is unfired porcelain brick, then the regular porcelain brick, then the faucet and channel. So, porcelain faucet and channel, they require five and three is eight. So I'm gonna make eight of these bricks. So eight unfired porcelain, so that's eight bone meal with eight clay, right? Um, okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this should be eight bone meal if my mortar will last. Then we need two of those uh, with the stone hammer. Two of those mix to sand, mix to clay, and because it was raining, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I know I didn't lose it. It went in here. Actually, I didn't need the two from my test. Eight unfired porcelain. Eight unfired porcelain bricks. Cooked into here. Meanwhile, get rid of some of this stuff that I'm probably not going to use again for a bit. Um, drop this in here as well. Clay should be with the resource anyway. Um, okay, how about we do materials and sorry machines and such into the bronze chest? Why not? This one is going quick, by the way. It's already filled up this drawer with 32 stacks. So let's see this one. All happy all the way up to here. Then we make the faucet and a drain. Although I don't think we have any use. Well, um, hmm. Actually, this may be a thing. If I mm -mm. I wonder. So Oh, I didn't think it would work like this. Um, in theory, if I can place my tank there before it places cobblestone. There we go. And I got some cobble out. the drain on here you can pour lava into the tank see now it's easier of course if we wait for the full bucket to have melted but we can have up to eight buckets of lava in here interesting okay useful mm, maybe later at least um but useful for the quest book because ooh, coke oven and to be there again. Okay, have a quick look at the coke oven. A uh, multi block coke oven, you'll be able to turn logs into charcoal, coal into coal coke, and lignite into lignite coke. Ooh, nice. So, one unfried coke oven brick, that won't get me far. One coke oven brick, and then <laughs> in the end, 26 coke oven bricks, and then the coke oven, which I'm guessing is a real craft coke oven. Because immersive engineering one takes 27 brick blocks. So have a look, Coke. Mm -hmm. I'd scratch that community edition, but. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. Then, so it's probably completely different. So if it takes 26 of these and one of these. So I need to make 27. It's probably not hollow then. Mm, let's make 27 of these. So that is 108 bricks, right? Do I 
27 times 4, yes, 108 bricks, which is 108 unfired, which, okay, so I need 108 clay and about double that in sand. Yeah, you don't want to watch me do that. And actually, I think this episode is going on for quite long already. So I think I'm going to do that in between episodes. And I may also start some building um, now that I have stone. And I can smelt into smooths if I want to. But let's see if, if this is doable. Oh, the chisel is very well doable. And so with a chisel, there is so much better choice in all types of bricks, weathered bricks and cracked bricks and also some smooths. Um, no need to cook them. So yeah, I'll be looking into seeing what type of buildings I want to have and what style and, and, you know, different types. I think I want, well, not different types, but different purposes. So I probably want to have a building for the mob farm, maybe have a, a few buildings for regular farms and animal farms and a tree farm, uh, sort of a factory kind of thing with the furnace and maybe set up storage with some more drawers as well. So yeah, I'll be looking into that in between episodes and then also be preparing the coke oven bricks and hopefully next chapter, uh, sorry, next episode, we're going to start H2 which is H1, sorry, this was zero. H1, Steam H, now it's already unlocked. And it's probably gonna require a fair amount of bronze, so I may also prepare some of that. So, yeah, next episode, we may start looking into the Steam H. So, I hope you will join me then as well. Thank you for watching. If you did like this episode, please click the like and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought, if you have any ideas, tips, questions, etc. And also click subscribe so you'll be notified next time a video comes out. I would really appreciate it as well. Thank you very much for watching and take care. Bye bye.